Tinder just said that I'm fire. See who's into you. I get more compliments from Tinder than I do people on Tinder. That's so far away. Hi. <laughs> Good morning everybody, my name is Jacob, back at you with another video and today I am going to be going back to the roots of the good old YouTube days and I am going to be doing a 25 bucks about me video. If you guys want to learn more about me as a human being and as a, as a social media superstar, I would stick around. There is an incentive to stick around at the end of the video, so if you do want to find out what's going on, just watch through the video. We're gonna have some fun, so yeah, make sure you stick around. Uh, yeah, so without any further ado, let's get straight on into it, yo. <laughs> I am Tasmanian. If you guys hadn't worked that out yet, I am from Tasmania, the tiny little island at the bottom of the world. I went to make a joke about the coronavirus here, but then I decided against it, lol. Yeah. I am a bastard. Now, not just in the way that that's what my friends call me, but I was actually born before my parents were married, which I find very interesting because apparently when I was born 20 years ago, that wasn't a very common occurrence, but I know now that kids are born way before their parents are usually married, which I think was cool because I got to be at my parents' wedding, which I think is really beautiful. So yeah, that's that. I have not watched past the part that I I have not watched past halfway through the fourth Harry Potter film or read past the first page of the first book. I, I, I just haven't enjoyed them or that much of them. Come at me. I am extremely superstitious, right? Like I'll think that someone's, like someone will say something to me and then something happened later in the day. Then something will happen later in the day and I'm like, whoa, that's because they said something to me. I believe in fate. I believe in all that kind of stuff. I also do read my horoscopes um, occasionally and they are, can be ridiculously accurate and it scares me how accurate they are sometimes. Only on a certain app. There's only one app in which I believe it's horoscopes. I think most of them are bullshit, but there is one app that seems to just be legit and get it right a lot of the time. So yeah, that's uh, there. It's extremely superstitious, extremely. I have only ever watched three superhero films. One of the Spider-Mans, another one of the Spider-Mans, Wonder Woman, and the three superhero films that I have ever watched. I did also see The Joker, but I don't think that counts much as much as a superhero movie as a phenomenal uh, character story. I've not watched any Batman, Superman, uh, Green Lantern, Marvel, Endgame. I haven't seen any of those. They just, they just don't interest me. Like I'm just not, nothing about those movies inclined me to go and watch them. <laughs> I hate chocolate. I would honestly be a vegan if it wasn't for chicken. I had chicken as part of every single one of my meals today. My favorite color is orange. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but I, I did. I am an extreme perfectionist with the most irrelevant things. Like I will spend so much time on ridiculous things like this little, like wherever it is, I think it's down here because my thing's flipped. I was working on that thing. I spent half an hour on that, uploading it, re-uploading it, changing it, blah, blah, blah. But the big things in life, pretty chilled about like the big picture in life. I'm not perfectionist at all. I don't like plans. I don't like schedules. I don't like being told what I have to do when I have to be there. But those little things, oh, I'm such, I'm a have to be like, everything has to be perfect. I don't actually know how I would classify my Myself, if you were to say am I an introvert or an extrovert because I legitimately think I would be an introverted extrovert I don't know how to explain it because I'm such an outgoing and confident person but at the same time I'm so introverted it's not even funny I'm pretty sure basically this verse from one of Scotty Sire's songs explains it pretty perfectly Just socially awkward, not a smooth taco. Awkward. I have an extreme problem with cheese. No, I'm not lactose intolerant. I have a problem because I can't stop eating it. Like, it's ridiculous how much I love cheese. Brie, camembert, cheddar, Colby, everything. Blue cheese, that is not on the table. Blue cheese is not a cheese. I just think that's a moldy 
fucking mess. But every other cheese, I just, I actually cannot help myself. Which brings me on to my next fact. I am like extremely willpowered. My brain controls me a lot. I listen to that little voice in the back of my head, except for when it comes to cheese. I'm extremely willpowered, except for cheese. I will eat that much cheese that I make myself sick, but in the moment, I love it, so I will eat it. If you, if someone came in here and handed me a whole wheel of camembert cheese now, I would just eat it. it, it it's a problem and I'm not gonna do anything to fix it. I have an abnormal obsession with musical theater, right? Like literally, if I was just to go, Like while I was writing these facts down, I was listening to musical theater. When I'm driving around, which I spend a lot of time in my car, I'm listening to musical theater. When I'm at the gym, I'm listening to musical theater. Like I work out listening to musical theater songs. That's how much of an obsession I have. But then after a while, I kind of get over it. And then I listen to Scotty Sire or Ariana Grande, but that's fine. But on the whole, I have an abnormal obsession with musical theater. I put mustard on literally anything that I eat with bread. Like if I'm making eggs on toast in the morning, I will put like mustard on it. Toasted sandwich, there will be mustard in it. If I have a salad, I will be putting mustard on it. Like mustard, like seed, like Dijon mustard and stuff. Like, oh, like literally, I don't know where these obsessions come from, but recently I have just had a craving, like everything I eat, I just want to eat mustard with it. I just think it brings such a unique flavor to things. I hate Shakespeare. I have never seen any of the Lord of the Rings or Hobbit films. N none, N no nothing even to do, like not even a scene. I have never seen anything to do with any of those franchises. I feel like I am the only Australian that legitimately uses Twitter, whether I shit post on it or not. I feel like I'm the only one that actually uses it. If you want to argue with me on this fact, tweet me. I currently have $4.97 in my bank account. No joke. I eat bananas with the peels on. Mm. Uh, that was uh, Best not to waste that. If you just chuckled at that segment, you have to like the video. I am the worst, but the best shopper. This applies for both in-shop shopping and online shopping. I am the perfect fit for like any online marketer. Like I fit into the target market of like, you know, a teenager who shops online. So I get targeted a heap of ads, like heaps and heaps and heaps. And that's fine. Cause I know that there's people grinding their asses off making money, right? I am also the one that they hate because I am the person that clicks on everything. So they like think that, you know, their click through rate goes up. But the fact I never buy any, I have to look at something like 10, 12, 15 times. Times, literally like that ad has to be, hit me at least that many times even if it's only like 10 bucks I will not buy it like I just buy nothing online and this also occurs like in store shopping like I will never buy anything unless I go back like if I'm clothes shopping especially and I like this pair of jeans I will like them and then I'll leave and I'll look for other pairs of jeans if I find nothing I'll go back and I'll think about it I'll leave again I'll go and get food then I'll go back and I'll think about it a bit more and then I'll go and get a coffee and then I'll go back again and then I might finally buy the pair of jeans but by that point the people have just given up and they if if I actually buy them, it's like, you know, it's a reward. I've never watched a Star Wars film. I started a very profitable videography, photography, web design, social media management business when I was 16, right? <coughs> and it was making me banger money. Like I was doing very well for like a 16, 17 year old. In, in 2019, so last year, I decided to shut the business down because I was really drowned out by it and it was just absolutely drowning me. I got so burnt out. It was also flooding me making YouTube videos. Like I wasn't enjoying making YouTube videos because I was spending so much time behind the camera working that I wasn't passionate about making these videos. I guess at the end of the day, you could say that I killed my very profitable video business to make videos for free. But that's my problem. That's not your problem. You need to like this video to support me in my decision because I'm making these videos for you. <laughs> but yes, I did kill a massive income stream to do this. So love me, please. Say that you're fine. Somewhere on this platform lives these videos. Hey guys, it's here and today I'm gonna be doing my first episode of my Survival Island. And I will never, ever, ever tell you where they are. There are very few people that know exactly where they are and if you do, I will hunt you down if you share them. If you do want to see the rest of these videos, then I highly suggest that you like share this video because at a certain milestone on this channel, I will be sharing these videos, right? So if you want to see them, get 
these videos pumping. Like get them, like share them with like 10 of your friends, 15, 20 of your friends. Just put my videos in group chats, put them in Facebook groups, share them on your Instagram story. You know, send them to people, you know, get people chatting, like get me some numbers and I'll give you these videos, okay? That's, that's the deal do it. And I also have some never before seen videos that I remember filming, editing. I know exactly where they are on my old hard drive. And at another certain milestone, I will also whip those ones out. So if you guys want to see them, you better get going. You've got one job to do. If you do your job, I'll do mine. You know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Let's let's make this happen, guys. It's teamwork. Let's go. I absolutely hate the primary and high school education system in Australia in 2020. Like that, I don't hate many things, but I absolutely hate that. And there is probably, there, there is definitely a whole video in this. I will have to tread very carefully with it, but I am more than willing to make it for you if you want to hear my opinions on this, if you have similar interest in this debate, because it actually makes me really angry when people start talking to me about the education system. So if you want to hear about that, let me know in the comments. Last but not least, I have never watched any of these. So there you go guys, 25 facts about me. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave it a big thumbs up. As I said, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I gave up a very profitable business to take on this, to, um, to start doing this pretty seriously. So if you want to support me, then you know, leave a like rating, share it with your friends. Let's get some chatter going in the comment section, make it happen. Um, I'm here for you guys. If you ever want to chat, DM me on Instagram. I talk to a lot of you guys regularly at the moment anyway. So if you need someone to chat to, honestly hit me up, I'm always open. I'm always checking my message requests as well. So if you message me, I will definitely respond to you at this stage, but you know, I'm all here for you guys. So if you want to chat, hit me up on Instagram. Yeah, if you guys liked this video, I will more than happily make more facts. I, I There's a lot to say about me. Once I started writing out these facts, I was like, wow, there's a lot of weird stuff that I could talk about. So if you guys want some of that, uh, more than happily do it for you. I've also got heaps of other videos on the way. We have an absolutely banger few months coming in store. So if you guys are ready for it, you know, hit that subscribe button, be here. Hope you guys did, did enjoy this video and um, yeah, I'll see See you guys in a couple of days with another one. Peace out. Love you guys. Bang. <laughs>